Hi everybody. Today is another experiment. Black base coat, colors, white, magenta, purple, and kind of a teal blue. So this is gonna be a flip cup. But I'm gonna put down that black base first. See, it probably could be thinner. I think I want a little puddle in the middle. I'm going to spread it a little bit. Okay. Should have brought my lamp over here, but I'm planning on doing a big one. So I'll leave it over there against the wall and put a little bit of white. Not much. May not have these thin enough still. It's funny, I can tell when I pour. I can't tell as much when I stir, but I can tell more when I pour, how it pours in. That bottle's out of water. Do -do -do. Don't need much. But I think I want a little more than what I got in there. I'm not really particularly worried about the way I'm putting them in either. Now, I think this time I'm gonna do an X. May not have gotten enough white in here. Last time I had a big black streak right down the middle. I came to regret that, especially after reviewing my video and I thought, oh, I could have done that differently. Yeah, this is not thin enough. I can tell by the way it's not flowing. Spreading out. May not have enough actually to do what I planned on doing. Yeah, not thin enough at all. I have a planet. I'm glad I always, you know, I'm getting to where I always do a test, especially if it's like new paint combination colors, color combinations, or maybe I'm going to do a big one. So I want to see how it looks on a small one first. This is nowhere close to what I was looking for. Let's see.
Maybe I'll blow up with the hair dryer. Maybe I'll do that. I don't have very much black paint up here, and it's making a difference. Because it's not wanting to move and blend. I love this. thing with black later. Okay, that's not what I intended to do, but I'm happy with it. So, show it to you up close. See if you can see if I can keep the glare off of it so you can see it. Bring it up here. From that perspective, now from this one, that turned out okay. And it's not a 20 minute video. So, I'm going to have to put some more black right here. I will finish this up after 
I finish the video up and do some black just around those edges all the way around. And I'm happy with this. I think it looks fine. I particularly love this part. Should have had more white in it, I think. I should have layered some white right in the middle, looking back. And definitely got to thin those paints out some more. See if I can't get it more to do what I wanted it to. So, um, the one that I did that I was trying to get something similar to, I think it says beautiful colors or wow, something like that. So you can see it really spread out and it was on a 12 by 12. This is a seven by 14 size canvas and turquoise or teal, more like a turquoise that's been lightened white, magenta that has not been lightened, purple, a deep purple that was lightened, and black are the colors. So thank you for joining me. Hope you like this one. Love playing with the blow dryer. It's always an option if you get something going and you're not really thrilled with it and you got enough paint on the canvas, you can always pick up the blow dryer and see what happens. Because worst case scenario, you scrape it off and you go again. And with one this small, you're not gonna lose that much paint. So something to consider. Thank you for joining me. Have a good evening.